guys, welcome back to Bordela Chef's Kitchen. My name is Colleen and today we're making sweet potato gnocchi. Um, it's one of my favorite dishes because I've spent some time over the years to actually perfect it because I found every time I was going to a restaurant, it was really a hit or miss. I'd have gnocchi that was just too much flour, it was too thick and it was just hard to eat. Um, and other times it was fantastic and I really wanted to create something at home for myself when it just felt like having a dish uh, that was comforting and still healthy. Um, and so over the time we perfected it, um, it really is a soft, yummy gnocchi that really melts in your mouth. And I wanna share that with you. So let's get started. To begin, I've microwaved um, the sweet potato for about four minutes. Depending on the size, it takes you a little bit more, um, probably not less, but just more. I'm just going to remove uh, the sweet potato and put it in a container or a measuring cup that you can use to benchmark how much flour you need to put in. So the flour starting amount is exactly the same. So one cup gnocchi, uh, one cup um, sweet potato, one cup flour but it might take more or less depending on the moisture content of your sweet potatoes. So we're going to start with the same amount and reserve some um, until the end to see if we actually need it. When once we have started kneading it, you don't want to overflower it. We're not going to put in some seasoning. We're going to start with red chilies. Of course, we need to add some salt. Um, and last thing, a very tiny bit of uh, ginger. So we're going to add that. And now we're just going to gently knead this, uh, mix it into uh, a dough-like consistency. And here you have it. We've done the dough, not a lot of pressure, gently doing it. And, and now I want to show you the leftover uh, flour. So we didn't use it all. So that's exactly the point I was trying to make. Now we're going to cut uh, the dough into four pieces and uh, start um, the rolling out process of the gnocchi and cut them into small slices. So we've just cut it into four and we're gonna roll each of the four individual pieces into a long um, log essentially and you want it to be of the same size in order for them to um, you know, cook evenly and together in the boiling water. So here you have it. And now we're just going to uh, cut them into a small, again, equal sizes, size pieces. And once we've done that, we're going to move on to uh, actually putting some shape into these gnocchi. This is optional, you don't need to do this, but just take a fork and put pressure on uh, the gnocchi with your fingers and just roll it down the fork uh, for this little pattern. And now we have these ready, we're going to go into the cooking process, which is first step is boiling them in water. We're just going to drop them in a um, saucepan that's full of water here, uh, and it will take about a minute for them to float up to the top. Um, that's how much it took for me, and very key to remove them as soon as they come to the top uh, and float to the top so you're not overcooking them. So we're going to do that right now and move into uh, the process of adding some incremental flavor and creating the sauce. So we've got butter here in a large cast iron pan. We're going to now add some thyme and some oregano. But before we go there, you can do this in olive oil as well. So, you know, if you don't like butter, that's not a problem. So let's get started with the lime, with the thyme, not a lime, and some uh, oregano. And now we're just going to add in our gnocchi that have really puffed up in that uh, boiling process um, into the pan and we're just going to saute them until um, they're golden brown. It will take another couple minutes consistently uh, mixing them so you try and get an even uh, you know, color um, on both sides all over and um, then we can get to the sauce and look at that golden brown. That's what I was trying to get to. You could do more or less, uh, but you do wanna do it for at least a few minutes to make sure it's fully cooked through without it being too hard. That's the key in a gnocchi. We want it to melt in your mouth. So now we're going to add tomato sauce. It's, it's marinara because we already cooked it with um, garlic, basil, and a bunch of spices. You can add any sauce you have at home, pesto, rosé you want to have it just with the butter and the herbs that's completely fine we put a lot of the seasoning into the gnocchi so it's very flavorful um, so here we have it in tomato sauce it's gnocchi that i know will melt in your mouth as soon as you put it in so hope you enjoy it